It's time. Let's watch it. The NRA conference. See, with our ARs, we're citizens. Without them, we'll be slaves. They're not assault weapons. They're sporting weapons. It's necessary to protect my family from tyrannical government. Why do you think there are so many mass shootings? Because that's what's on the agenda for the left. They want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. Protesters pushed up against barricades, Jesus. keeping them away from the NRA meeting site. It's tense. Wait. The pain is keeping them Wait away from the NRA meeting. Oh my God! I need to go to one of these. This one like she got an RPG. This is for self-defense and for hunting. What are you hunting? Elephants. Site. It's tense. The pain oh, of wow. a national tragedy does not bridge divides here. When was a shooter a member of the NRA? I want you to tell me. You can't because it never happened and it never will. What is? What do you? What do you think you're getting out of this? Like, what? What is the? Like, what's the end goal with this? Like, what? Like, do you think you're gonna? Like, they're gonna be like, ah, that's a good point. I'm gonna go home. It's just you're not gonna. Like, why are you even? Like. You're not trying to debate with them. Like, it's a protest. You're just yelling at each other across the street. It's just so pointless. You're an idiot. I believe <laughs> you have the right to own a firearm. But I do not believe you should be 18 years old to be able to have an AR. When you use an AR, you're, you're going to kill people. You don't go hunting for deer with an AR. I, I generally agree with them. Actually, I do. Um, I, I think maybe some people hunt with an AR. I'm not really sure. But like, I don't see that. It doesn't seem like there's a big reason that an 18 year old needs an AR. Like I, I, I have a, I, I think pretty much most people could agree on that. I think most reasonable, normal people could agree on this. Not people that are screaming at each other from the side of the street. But I think a lot of reasonable people would say that. Sure. Boar hunting? Well, you just like maybe if it's a gun club. I it, it's very like I mean I'm sure there's like a fucking extreme nuances, but I'm talking about like a general sense. When the founding fathers like defined freedom, they didn't think that ARs were going to be part of it. Or black people. Yeah. Or people of color. People of color. And how about freedom? They want to talk about how we shouldn't ban guns because that's hurting our freedom. How about abortion? We're forcing women to have kids. I see you have an uh, Antifa flag right here. How would you describe yourself politically? I'd say I'm a socialist. So I believe in taxing the church, taxing the rich. Abolish the police. Police are supposed to protect us in school. I'm actually really glad he interviewed this guy. Because, like, the Antifa is uh, taxing the church, taxing the rich. Wait, wait, this is, he he's wrong? Uh, abolish, did he say abolish the police? I mean, I, yeah, did he say that? Well, I, I just... Taxing the church, taxing the rich. Abolish the police. Police are supposed to... All right, I, I disagree with that. I think that's fucking stupid. Like, you're not going to abolish the police. Yeah, that was fucking dumb. But I, I'm glad to have, like, an interview with an Antifa person who's not a complete nutcase. I, I do. I, I don't think this guy's a complete nutcase. Yeah, he's got some dumb, like, I, I think the abolishing police thing is stupid. But, like, everything else he said is, like, this is generally, like, this is reasonable. Sure. Are you kidding me? He's a nutcase? He's not a nutcase. How's he a nutcase? He says you can have, his guns are fine, but you shouldn't give a, a fucking 18-year-old an AR. Is that crazy? Keep watching? All right, all right. Is he going to reveal his power level? Let's see. So far, I think this person has been generally reasonable. To protect us in schools, right? But in Uvalde, they didn't. When I get older, That's like true. old enough, 21, I'm going to own a firearm because I don't trust police to solve my cases. Mark said in his <laughs> communist manifesto that we should arm the proletariat. Just arm the proletariat to ensure that they're able to defend themselves. Well, my sign asks a pretty obvious question uh -huh. uh, that I think everybody should be asking. This is the right time to have a celebration of guns right on the heels of more than a dozen kids and, and teachers getting murdered uh, a few it's days. It's a bit, bit of a bad timing. Uh, I, I will agree with that. Probably bad timing for a, for a gun convention. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, they probably planned it months in advance, right? I mean, that's the way these things probably go. So obviously, like, uh, you know, it, it's just, it ends up that way. You know, I think it was planned first. I would assume to go in Uvalde. This is ridiculous that we're the only country that has to deal yeah. with this. And that's what today is all about, is voicing our righteous outrage at our elected officials and the people at the NRA uh -huh. who decided to celebrate guns with blood on their hands today. This time at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. We've just learned the death toll is up to Isn't that crazy? A bunch of kids. school employees 
gunned down during their last week of school. The shooter legally purchased two AR variant long guns within a week of his 18th birthday. <laughs> Dude up there is uh, tossing magazines oh, out wow. to the crowd. Give me it's one. like a week? Yeah, well the thing is, like, I honestly feel like if you made it to where, like, like every time I see like these shooters and people like this, like these things happening, like it's always teenagers. Like, yeah, you have like older people that occasionally pop off, right? But like Columbine teenagers, Sandy Hook teenagers, uh, this one, Yavaldi teenagers, it's always kids and, and like young teenagers. Like maybe it would be a good idea to like make it to where you can't buy this shit until you're 21. It's where like your brain is like, is like more fully formed. Because the truth is, like, uh, it's like, yeah, you can say, oh, they can join the military and get a gun at 18. Yeah, but, like, they do that under, like, fucking extreme supervision. Somebody fucking screaming in their ear, watching what they're doing every second. You know what I mean? Uh, it should be 30. I think 20, like, the thing is that you can say 21, 25, 30. I, I, I think 21 is reasonable. Other people say 25. I don't know. But what I'm trying to get at here is that it seems like this would help. That's all I'm saying is it, it, it seems like this would fucking help because you see a pattern and like the pattern is the same type of behavior every time. I mean, I don't know. Wouldn't that uh, hurt here. somebody? We're in Houston. We're at the NRA Houston. convention. I think the mayor asked this not to happen. The governor pulled out, but it's still going down. Yeah, I bet it is. Oh my Shooting God. An RPG is the ultimate Vegas hooker experience. It seems like a great idea at the time. It's really, really expensive. Yeah. And it's over way too fast. An RPG is a rocket wow. propelled grenade. So anything that launches that they either call an RPG for short or a rocket launcher. Oh Within my the past God. couple of months, Airtronic did sell off about 30 of our older model, models through Gun Broker. So there's a lot of these in civilian hands now, and people are enjoying them. Excellent. Remember, American made. So you just buy an RPG. Oh, hell yeah, brother. And that's freedom. Yeah. The thing is, like, most people don't go on rampages with RPGs. And I think that, like, a lot of the people, you have to, like, get a, uh, uh, like, some sort of, like, uh, like, allowance to have this from, like, the state or the sheriff or the city or something like that. So, like, the people that have stuff like this, especially because it's so expensive and shit like that, we don't really have a lot of people that pop off with these because they're, ha they're a lot harder to get. But it is kind of ridiculous. I'll give you that. Galactus, thanks for the 10 subs. Appreciate it. This is a MR762A1. I don't know anything about guns, so I don't know what the hell this is. I'm pretty sure this is a gun. I wonder how much this these a are. I'm a, big, I'm a big NRA proponent. I'm a life member. And the timing sucks, but, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's... This doesn't have That's anything. To, there's no connection between this and what happened in Uvalde. There just isn't. What do you think that we can do to, to stop mass shootings like that? I think it goes back to the basic family. I'm, I'm 66 years old. When I was in high school, we used to take our shotguns to high school to show our coaches if we got a new shotgun. Then we'd go. My dad told me school. the same thing. There was never a school shooting when I was in high school. What's different from then to now? That's What's a good changed? point. What do you think changed? I, it's the family. Look how many single father. Look how many single parent families there yeah. are. Just go to Chicago. Look at the look at the. No, I, the thing is, like, I don't think he's wrong. I actually think he's right, uh, for sure. It's just that that's not the whole story. That's one piece of pizza, and there's a whole pizza of problems. But it is one piece. Yeah, he's right. A crime that's crime in Chicago. I mean, they have 40, 50 gun shootings a weekend. I guess that's the difference lot. would be that like in Chicago, a lot of that violence is gang related. We're talking about kind of lone wolf shooters walking into an elementary I, school I with an AR-15. It's is troubled kids. I'm not a big it gamer, is. but I mean, I've seen a lot of the video games and there's a lot of them. Oh, come shooting. on, bro. Come on. You really gonna, you really gonna have like a decent point and then bring up video. Oh, come on, Bill. Wait, it was it was Elden Ring. Did Elden Ring do this? 
Holy shit, it's the video game's fault. Guys, gamers, we're being oppressed. We have to ride out. We have to we have to rise up and stop this. Come Holy up, up, shit, you know, man. It doesn't look real. Yeah. So how do you think we can rebuild the American family? That's got to be done at the at the at the at the street level. Single parents are running 30-40% of the households. It takes two people to raise a kid. Why does anybody need to have, you know, an AR-15? <laughs> Guns have been around here since the beginning of America. So, but, but back in the day, it was like muskets and stuff. It doesn't matter. The, you know, nowhere in the Constitution does say. You have to stop this right now. You have to go across the street, please. What do you think about Get like, the fuck out of here? <laughs> I think the, the background checks is adequate now. Hey! Right there. Next, please. Across the street. What do you think could have been done to prevent what happened in Uvalde? She's trying to get him out of the way. We could have banned assault weapons 20 years ago. <laughs> That's a woman who doesn't want to end up on the news. Because she's like, all right, I work here. I don't want to have to be here late. We're not going to have an altercation on my uh, on, on our property. Uh-uh. Get out. Get out. Get out. Nope. You're some, go over there. Go over there. Cause this fucking trouble somewhere else. Uh-uh. Nope. That's what it is, right? It's like she was unprofessional because she just wants to get them the fuck out. Like, yeah. No, it, it's the thing is that you have to understand why somebody acts that way. That's the reason. Big nope energy, but she on video though, yeah. Who gives a fuck? The murder at Uvalde, Texas will tell everyone that we need to have gun under control. We don't take guns away from people, but we have to have a proper background checks. That is the only way we can avoid these kind of murders of children you cannot I, I find it crazy that like we we always get into these like weird fucking arguments where like the only like it's like if you go on twitter there are two groups of people so you either give kindergartners the guns or nobody can have guns at all not even like a hunting rifle like those are the two options that you have on twitter you either arm the kindergartners or you remove every single gun that ever existed. That's it. Oh, no, you armed it. Oh, sorry. You armed the, the kindergarten teacher. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't want to misrepresent such a reasonable perspective. Yeah, where's the new? Yeah, there's just it, it's like I think most people would agree that like having a, a longer term back che background check is is reasonable. I, I I would assume like 80% of people would be like, yeah, you know, we should have probably stronger background checks, especially for younger people that are more at risk. I think most people would agree on that. Hey, well, we hire police or uh, yeah. these are mental people. Abbott, he said that there's a mental problems with the United States. Mm -hmm. Anybody who shoots somebody else has a mental health challenge. What about the arrest? I would agree. I would. Uh, I would not agree with that. But I would say that anybody who shoots up a elementary school probably does have mental problems. I. I, I can't see a person of a sound mind going and doing that. Yeah, I, I find that to be unlikely. The word. Do they have mental problems too? No, they don't. Right. So that's why. Uh -huh. That's why we are here. It's better that the government knows that people do have ARs. Governments have killed 260 million people in the 20th century. You know, Stalin, Mao, whatever. People say, oh, that'll never happen here. We all live in a bubble. We are the most privileged country on earth. From the homeless guys That's here true. to fucking Bill Gates. Hot ah, crap, where's I going with this? Uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, governments, this, that. Okay, you know who EDP yeah. is? Yeah. I, I'm a guy that cop. Wait, okay, where's I going with that? I, I mean, I'm a, I fucking remember, I don't remember who it is. It's whatever. Like, yeah, I don't remember why. But you know who EDP is? Yeah, just like some other random fucking shit out of nowhere. With that neck beard? I mean, the thing is, like, I, I support people going out and protesting about stuff because that's what it's about. Like, I think that's one of the most important things about America is that you can protest something and, and uh, you have the freedom to do that. I think that's a really good thing. Yeah, it's it's incredibly important. So like I I support these guys going out there and doing this a hundred percent, even if it's stupid. That's the bet. That's the thing is you can, even you go protest something, even if it's dumb, you go out and protest it. Wait, you're the guy who caught EDP. Yeah. So how do you think? Wait, we can what? Yeah. I, I'm a guy that caught him. Wait, you're the. Holy shit! No fucking way! Oh my god! 
Wow. The guy who caught ADP. Yeah. So how do you think that we can prevent uh, mass shootings like the one that occurred a couple days ago? The reality is there's Salvador Ramos is out there. The reality is there's Peyton, whatever the hell his name was, Adam Lanza's, yada, yada. People will be uncomfortable if there's teachers armed in schools. Uh, yeah, we need uh, more guns around the schools. And we protect our president with guns. We protect our congressmen with guns. We protect our governors with guns, our celebrities. I'm glad he's got that written events, down. Jewelry stores, banks. And then we protect our children with a sign that says, this is a gun-free zone. I see that you have Rosa Parks here. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I met oh, Rosa. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be good. Yeah, he's going to have Rosa Parks. I think that, like, what is EDP? So people might not really know who EDP is. Uh, EDP was a, uh, uh, he's a groomer. He was a groomer uh pretty much a pedo yeah and uh it, it, they got him and uh he's a piece of shit that's about it yeah i mean he's a piece of shit and so that guy caught him uh yeah that that's it i mean w what else is what else is there to say about that park she's anti-abortion she's a good friend of mlk he's anti-abortion he was anti-abortion so uh case closed I see that you have two Mike Lindell my pillows attached to your belt loops on either side. Yeah, Mike's a. F That's impressive. Honestly, like, that is really impressive. So, it's like he went to so he he went to Bed Bath and Beyond before this to you know get stocked up for this. Yeah, in case anybody wants to have a pillow fight. Friend of mine, I've only met him once in person, but. He knows what I've been doing for him. He sounds like a good friend. Yeah, he's a good friend. And uh... it's like this person, like I, I got to This is kind of what I what I said before is like these people are. Uh, there's something wrong in their head. You know what I mean? Like this is not a person of a sound mind, in my opinion. This is not a way a person, a normal person thinks and acts and shit like this. And it's like yeah this is a person like he struggles himself yeah this guy's got problems man like he's got actual problems like his brain doesn't work the way it's supposed to work and it's just shit wrong with him it, it sucks to see people have this have this happen to him uh, it is it's an actual mental health issue uh, and this is a little bit more firm and they're the best pillows i've ever had which one do you prefer I prefer the softer one, the medium fill. That's the great. The standard's a little tough on my neck. Did you enjoy his pillows prior to his endorsement of Donald Trump? Uh, well, they've been around for a long time. I couldn't afford them. He cut the price in half now. Here's a tip. Uh, don't order them through the mail because they come wrapped up with no box. Go to Walmart, get them in a box. The box is going to be worth more than the pillow. Why? Because it's classic. I'm getting ready to go over to the uh, communists that are packing guns. Do you think it's smart to... I told you guys like there's there's something wrong with this guy like and that's that's what it is yeah and, and this guy has guns wow yeah it, it's like these people are there's something wrong in his fucking head and it's like these people are funny right it's funny to laugh at him and shit oh sure but you've got to keep in mind like there's something wrong with this dude they engage with them. I scream profanity at them and it made them angry. They can't tolerate freedom of speech, but they expect me to tolerate them threatening me. What is your favorite piece of profanity to hurl at an Antifa BLM soldier? Uh, fat baby butcher bitches. Fat bitch. That's pretty good. I mean, like, you could make a rap song out of that. Like, I mean, really, I mean, that, that's actually a really good one. God damn, that's lit. Oh my God. Baby butcher bitches. I love how he says it. It's like he's practiced saying this for his whole life, which is probably true. Well, you're, you're going to go do it again? Yeah, I'm going to go do it again right All right, now. well, I'll see you over there, man. Don't let those uh -huh. Antifa communist bastards take your pillows away. Godspeed, soldier. You're doing the right thing. Oh, he's got I that flag as a cape on. I screaming in my face on the 14th of this month. I met Rosa Parks. I don't give a fuck. You don't know shit. You don't either. Look you're at a you, dumbass, and you're you proud of your brother. You fascist piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least he got the pillows. Uh oh. Oh no, I spoke too soon. 
do you think there, there's see like in my opinion i think that's fucked up you shouldn't steal somebody's sign like that guy's in the wrong like the police need to be on top of him it's like that's the thing it's like the moment that you feel like that you are like justified to elevate things to like a physical level like to grab somebody's sign like walk away with it or some shit like that because like you see how fast that shit escalates right is like you grab that dude's sign then the other dude is grabbing you and, and it turns into like a thing yeah that's stupid like that's it, you you can't let that shit happen like that's the only thing like uh about like these uh protests and shit like two assholes screaming at each other like yeah it's stupid like who gives a fuck but like the moment that you make it physical and the moment that you start like grabbing people's shit and touching people's stuff then uh that's over the line yeah, it, 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 yeah, that, that could be that's too much. yeah there's a little gap i think they could change uh, some of the requirements to own an ar you know back in the old days we didn't have the same type, type of weapons so that's they could true. change the law and make it 21. do you think that kid hey. should have been able to buy an ar i don't know somebody somebody worked on the kid's brain they worked on that one in Buffalo also. He drove 300 miles to shoot black people at a store. He probably could have drove a few miles within the city he was already in. I guess the main difference is like the, the, the dude in Buffalo was motivated by like racial hatred, whereas it seems like the guy... It was only racial hatred because the guy was white. But I think he had the, the N-word written on the gun and he published like a big manifesto of talking hey, about... abortions you motherfuckers had? Well, that's what they're telling us. Yeah, I don't know the facts because I hadn't seen them. We are done with your he just fucking shows up. He's like, how many abortions have y'all had? <laughs> like, <laughs> holy fuck. He just pops out of nowhere. Yeah. God fucking damn. Bullshit. Why would this kid put a manifesto together anyway? Chuck Schumer didn't want us to pass laws to protect schools. He that's, a, that's a Democrat politician in front of y'all that aren't in America. And the Democrats, what you have to understand is Democrats want, uh, they want to take away all the guns and put, uh, put everybody in, in, in jail. Like, that's it. Yeah. That uses guns. That's, that's what they do. Republicans want to, to shoot everybody with guns. That's the difference. Not cops in schools. He doesn't want to harden the target. He wants your kids to be killed. That's why the Democrats advocate for murdering children in the womb. They don't care about life. The NRA has a fucking thing to do with it. You idiot. It's like, I wonder how many times, like, he's done this online. Like, how much karma do you think this kid has online? Like, I guarantee you it's got to be over. Like, it might be negative because, like, you know, usually these opinions aren't too popular on Reddit. He could be into, like, the negative tens or twenty thousands. You know what I mean? His whole life, yeah. Uh, it's just, it's nuts. That's his dad. Maybe it is. I have no idea. He's a 4chan user. Maybe. I just, I always find it to be like so weird that like somebody wants to go out of their way to yell at somebody. Like I've never wanted to yell at a person in my life. I hate yell. Like I hate that shit. Like somebody gets like aggressive and starts yelling and shit. Like, ugh. like that freaks me the fuck out. Like I never want to deal with that. When did the NRA oh, kill serious? somebody? You're an idiot. What? I know who you are. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> I want to talk to you. Yes. Hell yeah, cool. So how do you feel about <laughs> Hell what's yeah. going on right now? Put them over there. I don't like not like them. They're human beings. I love everybody. Okay, they have souls. You're an idiot. Oh, but it's, it's just sad because thing. they're confused. Yeah. The problem isn't the guns. The problem is a people problem, okay? Ever since 1973, we legalized abortion. I think that was a real downfall in American society because we've murdered millions of children. Why people are really against this whole abortion thing. And, and, like, you can see, like, the thing is, like, you can see from their perspective, right? It's like if they really think that abortion is, like, killing babies, like, you can see how that would make somebody uh, apoplectic. You know, it would make them a little bit unhappy and stressed out. You know what I mean? It is. Uh, it is, but, like, there's, like, a... It's, like, you make the greater good argument, right? So it's, like, you kill the kid because, like, the kid has, like, a... You, you know, you bring the kid up into, like, a world where, like, you know, people didn't want him in it. Or, like, the parents had, like, some problem. Or, like, the kid had something wrong with his head. Uh, or something like that, right? It, it's, it's actually really just, like... In my opinion, like, this has all been, like, my opinion on, like, abortion. Is that I think abortion is like medieval. It, it's like it's it's horrible. Uh, it's like the worst thing that could happen is to have to have an abortion. It's terrible. But I think it should be legal. I think people should be able to make the decision.
Uh, I, I think it is. Like, I, I think it's, it's a terrible, horrible, awful thing to have to make that decision. But I think it should be legal. I mean, you guys didn't expect, like, you guys weren't expecting a, uh, a, 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 a fucking, a, you know, some, like, moral argument from me, were you? No, I mean, come on, let's be real. Okay to murder children in the womb, oh, but not okay to murder kids in school. I know, I know this isn't your usual thing. You usually just let people talk. Yeah. But I want to listen yeah. to what, what you think. Well, I, well, I'm curious that's if you cool. think there's any common ground that can be found between. See, that's a very complicated thing to talk about, and I think there is room for that. Okay, I think we can have mental health evaluations, and I think. Yeah, but you need to stop fucking screaming at people from the other side of the street, man. Like that's the reason why you don't have any conversations, is you're just sitting there talking to somebody who you think partially agrees with you that's what happens is that like you you like what he's saying here makes total sense and it's completely true he's not wrong about any of this but the thing is like you act like that and then you start uh you stepping in tonight what oh me no i don't the thing is like i think that most people think the way that i do i actually do i i think that most people agree with my opinion on this whether it's like abortion or guns or whatever, yeah, there's going to be some nutballs out there that get that get in their feelings about it. But, like, that's not the norm. I actually think that most people agree with me. Yeah, well, well let me see here. I agree with points. Yeah, m most people probably do. Like, so I never worry about, like, having these opinions or whatever because I think it's true. He's just evaluating his statement with his yelling. Yeah, you're just screaming at people. Like, that's not going to do anything. Like, they're not going to go over there and, like, listen to what you're saying and, like, change their mind. Like, it's just weird. Um, well, let's see here. Uh, I think you're backwards. You're an outlier in terms of rational thinker. Most people don't think that way. I think that a lot of people come to the same conclusion. You don't need rationality to come to that conclusion. You can't be libertarian, support abortion. When did I ever try to label myself? When did I ever do that? What was it, Dad? What was the statistics like for the adult population? It's about 25%. The yeah. adult population in America is suffering from some form of mental illness. Yeah. I think I think people in general should be. About I don't know if that's really true. I mean, like if you want to count like ADD or or like you know uh, something like that, and, and like how much of this is like is this diagnosed or are these people that self-diagnose? Like, I, I'm not really gonna. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that seriously at all. You uh, and should have help. Whenever you go into a gun store, you have to fill out a paperwork called a 4473 and say, hey, they're going to run a background check. This 4473, this document, it's a document to look at your background, okay? It's not going to know the heart of man. We need to better keep up with the health of our people. I don't know why I like these, because, like, the thing is, like, if, if it's, like, an old dude saying that word, right, it, it's, like, if you're, like, I don't know, 25 or something like that, you grew up on the Internet, people just use this word all the time. And, like, there were plenty of people that just used the F word and it had nothing to do with being gay. But, like, this dude's, like, 60, 70 years old. And, like, whenever he was using that word whenever he was younger, that has a much different connotation. Like, it has a way different con Like, it's just weird that, like, people would actually get, like, mad or, like, upset about, like, gay people. I just... Yeah, like, I, I it's, just, it's just weird to me. Like, I never... Even whenever I was, like, a little kid, like, I just didn't understand, like, what people, like, why, like, what is this a problem for? Like, what, what is this? Like, I don't think they're all gay or something like that, but it's just, it's, it's odd. Uh, it's a religious thing? I, I, I don't know, man. It's just, they're, yeah, it's just, it's weird. Religion and tradition? Uh, he said maggot? Uh, bro, I bet he didn't. I, I bet he didn't, man. Yeah, yeah, it's just fuck. Because we're suffering people, okay? We have more access to hardcore porn on the internet, whittling down the You gonna say that in front of your dad? And literally making us you can check your sick internet people. When you you get can't home. legislate morality, and you can't tell what you are really gonna do. Of course, do. you can legislate morality. Like, what do you mean? Like, that's clearly like you can obviously do that. Like, every country's laws are a reflection of its morality. Like you, every, all of the laws are a reflection of people's morality. Like it's just people break laws. Yeah. But like you, you can make the laws in the country dictate a general behavior. Of course, this is not like, oh, well you make this law and it goes away. No, but like it dictates a behavior. You can't make people follow it. No, you can never, you can never do that with anything.
At the end of the day, we live in a free society, and we have these rights and privileges, yeah. and that's what happens. You know, they don't have school shootings in China because you can't own firearms in China. Do you know that the most popular porn... I don't know if they don't have school shootings in China or not. Like, I have no idea because, like, you can't even trust, like, how do you know what they're saying, what happened in China? Like, I, I don't, I'm not going to trust what they're saying. Like, they could just be lying. Maybe they don't. Like, I have no idea. No? The question marks? He reached the conclusion? You really trust what the Chinese government releases? Like, as their own statistics? You, 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 you trust the Chinese? Uh, I, I don't trust them. No, I don't at all. Category in America right now is incest. I don't think it's a. I had no idea. No. Isn't that insane? Why? <laughs> Why is that the case? Game of Thrones. Tonight, leggings, shapewear, and handbags came down the runway. Oh, wow. But this is no ordinary fashion show. Discreetly designed so no one can tell that you have a weapon. Oh, my God. Fashion show targets what the NRA calls its fastest growing demographic women. Yeah, imagine. So, like, I, it's a purse, and you can put a gun in the purse. Can you imagine that? Wow, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, concealed carry. Yeah, can you believe that, like, somebody thought of that? That you could put a gun in the purse. Wow, they know female demographic. Well, I think there's a lot of women that want to own a gun for self-protection. Like, I mean, I, I, I think that makes sense, right? It's like, uh, especially, I mean, women not as strong as men, statistically, right? That's the fact. They're not as big. They're not as strong. They're not as fast. And, and so if a guy wants to take advantage of you, it's going to be easier for him to do that. And that's why it makes sense that women would want to have guns. Like that, it, that, that, that makes sense. That's something I didn't think I would see ever. I never saw this. That's all the people that got shot in Uvalde. That's nuts. Oh my God. Can you imagine going to school after that? Like the next year? That's gonna fuck up a bunch of people for their whole life. All right, we just arrived in Uvalde, Texas. Oh boy. Which, as most people know, is the site of the um, most recent mass shooting that took place around a week ago. Yeah. Where 19 students and two teachers were killed at Robb Elementary School. Yep. This is the Wendy's where the shooter worked. Apparently he used to work the graveyard shift at the uh, drive through window until about two and a half weeks ago. He quit abruptly once he had saved up about $4,000, which was enough to buy two assault rifles, ammunition, and a bulletproof vest. This is the store where- Oh my God. Like, so he actually planned this out for a long time. Holy fucking shit, man. Like, it's just, yeah, it's gonna change eventually. Kids are in school, should gonna start to vote one day. I mean, it's just, it's, you look at the stats, how many mass shootings America's had, there's a lot. Yeah, uh, I no, I know that, absolutely. It's mental health issues. I mean, somebody, it, it's like, the thing is, like it, both things can be true at the same time you see what i mean like it can be true that it's a mental health problem and it can also be true that guns should be harder to get you see what i mean like it, it's not like it's either one or another it, in my opinion i think it's both uh, the school shooter picked up the guns and ammunition that he used in the shooting he actually ordered the uh the guns online but this was like a transfer store where they oh, shipped sorry. it here and then he picked it up this is where the shooter drove his pickup truck through a guardrail and crashed out like right here the fuck got out of the car went over to the uh funeral home here shot at a few people but then didn't hit anybody then he walked over into this building and that was the uh the site of all this as a school what the fuck You go God to sleep, damn. seeing their faces. You wake up seeing their faces. 
That's brutal. What can we tell them? We don't want to scare them. And the other poor little innocents that didn't make it. You know, their father's parents were going crazy looking for them. I'm not sure they're in a lot of pain. And my husband was here getting the mail when when he heard gunshots. But That's brutal. It was. He's having a hard time because he just wished he could have done something to prevent it. Please, nothing to stop Our community him. will That's never heard, be the yeah. same. Si decimos que no hemos pecado, le hacemos a él mentiroso y su palabra no está en nosotros. Amen. 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 That's crazy. She uh, loved Guns N' Roses. She loved that song, Sweet Child of Mine. She's a beautiful little girl. I liked her song. That was her favorite song. She loved Guns N' Roses. And she would, um, she would dance around her room singing Sweet Child of Mine. I love this country and I'm so grateful for everything it's given me and all the opportunity that I recognize I wouldn't have if I was somewhere else. That's not lost on me. And at the same time, this, this should encourage us to want to be better and we're not. I think AR should be banned? Fuck yes. There is absolutely no reason for that. Mind you, I, I have a, a, a pistol, but I, I, don't, I don't think that a semi-automatic weapon uh, is necessary in our country. I just don't see the need. I don't see. I don't see the purpose. I think in this case, I know the uh, bodies. The bodies of the children were uh, were uh, shredded as a result of that. What do we need that for? Yeah, I heard I that's what the bullets it. do. They say that like having those high capacity assault rifles are the final line of defense against a tyrannical government. Oh please. I think, I think we're already facing a tyrannical government when we have things like this happen. Well, there's no excuse for this. I don't care what they say. They're wrong. Unless it happens to one of their own. I, I think that's stupid, too. But the thing is, like, the government has, like, such powerful tech. It doesn't matter if you have an AR-15 or a pistol. Like, they have, like, a tank. I mean, they've got they've got a tank. I mean, like, what do you do? What do you think is going to happen? Then they're not going to do anything. You know, and Ted Cruz, uh, he's a sorry person for a position that he holds. I'm sorry, but it is that's the truth. But we're not supposed to say anything. Yeah. If he can say what he wants. I can say what I want. Trump. They just rushed in. They That's their job. What, ni almost uh, an hour before they, they decided to do anything? No, that's, that's unheard of. It really is. Breaking news in the investigation. To the That's what I always thought was crazy about this story is how the cops, like, and it's like, I, I never even really know, like, what's true or what's real about this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I, I never really have any idea. Like, I, I don't know, like, what really happened, what didn't happen. I have, like, a, a general clue, but, like, still, like, it seems to me like the cops pussied out and they didn't shoot this guy. That's what it seemed like to me. And it was just so, no raw information. Yeah, it's hard to say. And, uh, because he barricaded himself in the room. Bruh, do you think that somebody that wanted to get in couldn't get in? Is that what you really think? Somebody that wanted to get... Like, no. They Oh, he barricaded himself in the room. Then bust a fucking window and jump in through the window. Like, I don't want to hear that stupid shit. Like, there's no way. Like, you can shoot a bullet through a wall. Like, there's no shot that that's even possible. The cops didn't fucking do anything. That's what, I, that's what I've gotten out of this whole thing. I've heard this from like 10 different sources at this point. The cops could have done a lot better. There's no fucking excuse. This is some 18-year-old loser. He is some 18-year-old loser that just recently bought a gun. You are a trained professional. That it, this is your job to deal with this. And if you can't handle that, then quit. 
school shooting tonight. Texas DPS is telling us the Uvalde CISD police chief has not been cooperating with investigators. On Friday, DPS Director guy. Steve McGraw said the school district police chief was the instant commander at Robb Elementary School who made the call to wait to take down the gunman. If they had, they would probably save several. Why little- would he do that? Like, why? Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? Like, yeah, it's just so ridiculous, man. In the U.S., there's no obligation for the police to protect anyone. I mean, like, you know it's more complicated than that. I know what you're saying, and it's not that you're wrong. It's that the topic is more complicated, in, in my opinion. I, I don't think it's just like the police don't protect anybody. Uh, I'm not going to just, like, listen to that and say, like, for sure, yes, they do. Yeah, the police obviously protect people. It's just that they're not, like, legally obligated to and probably some way in the Supreme Court. It's lies. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. This is fucking bullshit. Like, this is preventable. And what are you doing eating Doritos? What are you doing eating fucking Doritos? You like, like, I I can't believe this. Like, it's just so, oh my God, it's so dumb. (laughs) They aren't dumb, man. Like, here's the thing is like cops, like, let's, well, let's just be honest here is that if cops never solved crimes and protected people, everybody would vote to get rid of cops. So, like, it's clearly more nuanced than that, right? Because, like, why would a cop ever put their life on the line for anything unless that there was some some uh, requirement? You see what I mean? But, like, it's just embarrassing to have this shit happen. It is. This is absolutely unacceptable. When we talk about how great this country is... Yeah. This is unacceptable. Unfortunately, like so many things... Uh, people have vote get rid of cops. I never thought like I'll have you guys go back watch my videos during like last two years ago, right? I never supported getting rid of the cops. I've always been in support of the police. Just because I support the idea of the police doesn't mean I support every police officer. No, uh, I, I think that, that the problem is like yeah, I absolutely support the police. I don't support these guys. These guys are pieces of shit. There needs to be an investigation. It seems like there is, but it doesn't mean that every cop is bad. No. A couple of more months of a blower like this never happened, you know? No, That's I don't true. Think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to blow over anytime soon. Then the. We'll see what happens. The audacity of the people that went to the NRA convention in Houston, for them to say that they don't need to make any, any changes? What's wrong with them? That's what I don't understand. It's like, I don't understand why. Those people aren't more willing to compromise with more common sense stuff. Uh, what's this here? Defund the police just r- means reduce the militarization and, and budget of the police. <sighs> My solution would probably be primarily like the, the main thing that I, I would want them to do is have more accountability. I think that's the worst thing about the police is the fact that a police officer can do something that's really bad and not face consequences for it. Because that's what really erodes the trust. Uh, It's that whenever police officers do, it's not that police officers do bad things. I think people are willing to accept that sometimes you're going to have bad police officers that make bad decisions. I think what people will not accept is whenever that police officer makes a bad decision and then they get a vacation for it. That's what the issue is. I think that's what a lot of people would probably uh, agree on, right? It's not about training. It is about training to an extent, right? It's not about how much they're paid, although it has a factor. I think the main thing is just purely the accountability. And that's what people would be really upset about. Because I guarantee you that people probably wouldn't be spamming ACAB and all this stuff. And it's like, how can you not spam ACAB, right? Whenever something like this happens. And the police officers are making it really easy to do that. Because they're sitting there trying to defend each other for why they didn't stop a school shooter in an elementary school when a bunch of kids got killed. Do you see what I'm saying? And and, and the problem is that if, like, for example, let's say the police officers, they did the absolute best that they could, right? They got in there and they shot the guy within, like, 30 seconds of him getting into school. Nobody would be saying this. Yeah, nobody nobody would be saying this. Yeah, it's, it's a lack of accountability. Nobody likes people that have uh, the, the ability to kill you without any accountability to it. It's insane. 
Cops have a monopoly on violence. They often won't get prosecuted. Well, yeah, but the people have a monopoly on voting. But nobody, nobody fucking seems to realize that. Yeah, people can vote and, and, and change this and, and hold people accountable for it on, on, a, on a community level. It's not like the police are just going to show up to the voting booth and shoot you for voting. And they do that in other countries. And we should be very lucky that they don't do it here. It's a great thing. People forget about that because they're too busy thinking about how terrible the country is. Yeah, these things are horrible, but they can change. Because people are so fucking demoralized, they don't even try. Vote on what? Vote for candidates that want to hold police more accountable, that want to have more transparency, that want to break up the police investigating themselves and finding themselves innocent. How about that? Like, yeah, how about that? I mean, I think that makes sense. They don't exist. Then make one. Yeah, then, 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 then support somebody who does. Like, it, it, it's not like the choices are shit. It, it's people need to... The thing is that... Jim Junkie, thanks for five subs. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cops are in wrong here for sure, but the cops uh, arrested and kids died after that. They'd still get blamed. They would get blamed less, and I think any reasonable person knows that. Absolutely. Uh, but let's see. People are so lazy to make a joke out of voting. It's a sad reality. Voting's meaningless whenever it comes to things like this. Well, I don't think it's meaningless. I just think that nobody really cares about it enough. Uh, like, people don't really give a shit about this. And I think it's a really big problem. I think the policing thing is a huge issue because, like, the police are the way that most people interface with the government. Like, you interface with the government, maybe you're buying, like, a, uh, you know, your registration for your car or something like that. Or maybe you have to get your driver's license. But the main way that people interface with the government is through the police and getting, well, yeah, getting taxed, but you're not really talking to the tax man. It's not like the IRS guy comes to your house and, you know, asks you for $400 and, and like, you know, you get a, a, a refund, right? That's not what happens. The, the police officers are the ones that you directly interface with. You see them, they talk to you, you talk to them, you interact with them, which means that it is the most important thing to have that relationship be good do you see what i'm saying do you see how important that is because if that doesn't happen then everything else is complete shit because that's the main point of contact that the average citizen has with the government and if the average citizen has that point of contact with the government be bad they will assume the government is bad and you don't want that to be the case when was the last time you talked to a police officer uh like two months ago whenever i got pulled over uh, I got pulled over because I had an expired uh, registration on my car. And, and yeah, the guy was completely fine. He treated me fine. I, I was respectful. He was respectful. It was no problem. Yeah. And, and so like, yeah, sure. And uh, exactly. It'd be like that. Yeah, for sure. Because you're white. What do you think? If he was black, if I was black, he would have just walked up to the car and shoot me. Like that's not, that's not happening. Like the thing is like trying to like e exaggerate things to that level doesn't help anybody. Like you're not helping anybody. You're not being useful. You're not being uh, real by saying that you're just being delusional and creating a reality that's, that doesn't exist. It's just so stupid. And uh, what's it, dear boys, children? Yeah, as people on educate, you see, yes, that's a moron. Yeah, it's just nuts, man. Like, I have plenty of friends of mine that are, like, black and, like, Hispanic. And, like, uh, this isn't, like, some kind of, like, meme or whatever. You can see all the pictures of me whenever I was a kid. Look at all the people around me. Look at all my friends. Like, I was actually one of the only white people, to be honest with you. And many of them have had those same experiences. It's the, uh, the, the common sense thing is if you have the police officer comes up to you and, uh, you know, if you treat them respectfully, they'll treat you respectfully because they just want to get their job done. They don't want to deal with you. Uh, that, that's all there is to it. Asthma defending cops. Yeah, I, I, I think that I, I think that cops should be defended because you need police officers. Imagine how much better this situation would have been if we actually had real police officers here. Well, I, I, th I think that it would have been substantially better. Uh, instead of the, the Dorito bandit here. Like, we, we've got the Dorito bandit here and, and not somebody who's actually willing to, to fucking help people. Yeah, that, that's the difference, man. And uh, you can't deny that there are racist and bad cops. When would I ever say... Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think that's what I'm trying to do? do? Do you think that I'm trying to tell you that there are no racist and bad cops? Why would anybody think that that's what I'm saying? 
How's, how's, it, uh, how's all their funds in the town going to them and how's it working well? Not well at all. Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. And uh, and people wonder why Asmodee doesn't care about anybody else's opinion. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, why won't you listen to my, my own opinion? Like, oh, you, so you're saying there's no racist cops. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, that that's the reason why. And uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, only response, Brendan, arguments refuse to acknowledge anything with any weight to it. Okay, let me read your uh, your message, okay? A and then we'll go to the Ackman thing. No, we don't. It's probably not direct democracy. You misunderstand our... So, so this, these are the people who, um, who think that they have the good arguments. And, and these are the people that think that they really know what they're talking about. So, so let's go ahead and read this right here, and uh, we'll see what this person says. Uh, it's police's job to investigate charge people with crimes to get rid of this false idea that there are protectors. It's not their jobs. It happens to various person to person. Okay, so then isn't that a problem in itself? Um, no, it's not. It's a republic, not a democracy. You gravely misunderstand our form of government. So, like, you think because it's a republic, you don't have any sort of impact on who, who wins the election? Like, or, or what happens? I guarantee you, if every single person was pissed off about something the government was doing, and they all showed up to the Capitol building, it would change that day. See, this is the thing. This is, People argue in bad faith. They think this is such wistful thinking. The reason why I... Like, what's this here? Uh, videos, kinds of shooting are completely findable. People saw the things actually looked like. People would see a reason. Uh, people break laws. You heard them here. No, no more laws. See, these are the kinds of people who want me to read their Reddit essays. And this is why I don't take people's opinions seriously. It's because they're stupid. Yeah, they're just stupid. And, and, and that's all there is to it. Uh, January 6th, it fucking lost. That wasn't a lot of people. That was a, a handful of morons. That, that, that was in no way, shape, or form a majority of people. That was a handful of morons that drank the Kool-Aid because they were unhappy that, it, that they lost. That's all there was to it. If I say something obnoxious enough, can you get me my chats on stream? Yeah, you're about right. And uh, well, let's see here. Compar comparing pay to win complainers to cop defenders? Ah, it's just different versions of stupid to me. Uh, it it's, it's all the same. It's broken logic or uh, putting words in my mouth and then arguing against them. Uh, it it's all the same. And uh, tell me why these cops aren't uh, representative of the average cops, real cops? When did I ever say that? I never said that. Yeah, I, 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 ne I never said that. Uh, different versions of stupid fuck yes i love it yeah exactly like yeah people are just fucking dumb and, and that's why i don't take any of the opinions seriously from people because whenever i actually go in there and i read what the opinions are they're always stupid they're always stupid every single time every once in a while somebody brings up a good point but am i gonna eat shit 99 times because one time it might be a cupcake i don't think so yeah, chat was putting words in your mouth. Yeah, I'm just not going to, I I just don't take it seriously at all. Uh, anyway, l let's get back to the video, okay? Um, the point is, this is an incredibly good video. I think the transition, uh, especially with it being very abrupt to the, uh, you know, the Uvalde shooting and all of that, uh, I, I think that that's really good because obviously, like, you're, you're showing off to a certain degree the um, ridiculousness of Why? something like this, right? Uh, like the ridiculousness of a catwalk show of people walking around with, like, concealed guns and stuff like this. And then you, you, you juxtapose that, you, you, you put it right next to the... Uh, uh, the fucking uh, the, the shooting and the people that were actually there that were affected uh, it, it shows off the absurdity and it's important to keep that in mind because it, it's grounding because obviously this is it's funny to watch the NRA people like this just absolutely pop off and go crazy but there's a not so funny part of it and I think that it was done really well in this video uh, absolutely yeah a hundred fucking percent yeah make sure to like the video fucking watch the video uh, Channel 5 makes the best videos, like, pretty much ever. I fucking love these videos so much.